Welcome. And let's go for a great show tonight. We've got Kirsty's back from Fiji. Grandpa Mills, Popeye's over here. The birthday boy, Israel Dag, turned 42 today. <laughs> and Angus is back on the show because he prefers coming on here instead of playing for the Chiefs. Let's kick it off. <laughs> Tonight on kickoff, it's all or nothing. Do or die, last gasp. OK, we get it. The Highlanders and Bulls both in must-win territory. That's why it's our big game live from the Glasshouse at 7pm tomorrow night. Liam Squire returns for duty. The Y sucking the whole old chart will be ringing around the stadium. And it's also the farewell tour for many landers, including Dunedin's favourite son, Ben Smith. We talk to Richard the Barracuda Buckman live on the show and we'll see if he even likes fish. As always, surprises, dad jokes and some questionable chat. Let's kick it off. Welcome back to the kickoff. I don't know how, but it is round 17 of Super Rugby, the penultimate round robin match before the finals, before the playoffs start. We've got, if you're wondering why we've got these silly hats on, actually, this one, well, his head was too big, so his string's already broken. <laughs> I think you're putting it the wrong guy. You're putting it the wrong guy. But we've got the crew back together. You've made it up from Wellington. Angus, you're on a bye from the Chiefs. It's great to have you here. Izzy. You're back from the Carver in Fiji, yes. and it's your birthday. We're back, Kirsty. We're back to reality, back to work, and it's great to be back, team. How's your birthday been? Oh, it's been good. Just been in Auckland with uh, friends and it came up a bit earlier with the wife, and yeah, yeah it's been good. It's yeah. been a good day. You don't really like um, the attention being on yourself. <laughs> nah, I don't. All of a sudden. It. Loves it now. Hates it. Loves, loves it. it. Long Hates lunch. It. Hates Hates it. It. Hates oh, no, no, it's, it's been He's great. He's half day. cut. <laughs> Long We've actually got some special <laughs> memories that we need to bring up of you. We know oh, how much no. you love your hairdos. Oh, so, wow. oh, oh, so we've come yeah, out with a few. Who's? That's you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, they get better. They get better. Oh, oh. Oi, Undertaker. Cowboy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, it's Undertaker. Oh, who's that? Oh, I don't know. My, my brother was a face, face painter. What's the so. next one, though? What's oh, this? We're so what are you, what are is, you pulling? Is that a wig? gangster, is it? I don't... Oh, oh, Macy Gray, is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's your bike's name? Did your bike have a name? I can't. Where'd you get those Trevor. from? The courtesy of Mum or...? Oh, man, that's a shame. Was no. that, that must be Mum, yeah. Best uh, birthday you've ever had? It's been a good day. No, yes. but in terms oh, well, of, you know, growing <laughs> up, what's the best birthday you've oh, had? Um, they've all been great, Kirst. Oh, Stop it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, they've all been pretty special. This okay. morning I had breakfast with the kids, so that was good. Mm. Nice. Well, mm. I've got one more thing for you. There's been seven All Blacks born on this day. It must be one of the most popular birthdays for All Blacks, right? Yeah. Alan Hewson turned 65. Grant Fox, yeah. you know, you share your birthday with him. Oh, wow. Is that sure. why I got selected? Similar humour. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rocco Thoko? Yeah, I knew that because well. he was my roommate in my first ever tour. Yeah, we've so. got Charles McIntosh, Charles Fitzgerald, and Ian Elliason. Wow. Wow. You know who they are? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, time and now. It's, we're finished with you, Izzy. It's going Thank to you. your weekend, your schedule for the weekend, and tons of New Zealand teams in action. The Highlanders taking on the Bulls tomorrow night from Dunedin. Then straight afterwards, it's the Reds hosting the Blues 9.45. And on Saturday, the Crusaders, they bounce back against the Rebels. Later on, it's the Hurricanes away in Johannesburg. There's other Super Rugby matches as well, but there's also a rapid rugby match in Pukekohe tomorrow night. That'll be live on Sky Sport 4 from 5.30pm. It's Samoa taking on Fiji and Zach Guilford, your old All Blacks teammate. He's playing at 15. Time now, though, for our big game. What other? The Highlanders taking on the Bulls from the Glass House at 7pm. The Highlanders fresh off a buy and before that a two game slide while they were on tour in South Africa but both them and the Bulls are still in playoffs contention they need to win tomorrow though. A few changes to the team list let's take a look at those now and in the forwards you've got Luke Whitelock special night for him, he's playing his 100th Super Rugby game, 50th for the Highlanders that's got to motivate the Mangus. Yeah, nice little split, 50 with the Highlanders, 50 with the Crusaders, mm. uh, you know he's a big talent I think he's he's been happy just to get through training to, to pull up the ton but He's a massive part of the team and I'm sure put on a you know, big, big effort. Mm, well, still no Ben Smith for the Highlanders. Maybe next week, but at the moment it's Josh Mackay. He gets his first start at fullback this weekend, Mills. Yeah, exciting young talent. We spoke about him earlier in the year, didn't we, when he was covering 10. And I think, Izzy, you spoke about the fact that uh, he's really fast off the mm. market and that first 10 metres, he's, uh, he's quite exceptional. 
Yeah, I think 1.48 over the mm. 10, which is rapid. You're kidding. Um, but, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how he goes this weekend, filling some big shoes. Actually, I need to bring something up with you. On the breakdown on Tuesday, they said Scott Barrett was the second fastest in the Crusaders and faster than uh, you. Was that true? Oh, he wasn't faster than me, no. <laughs> no, no, didn't think so, um, didn't think so. He's actually rapid, Scooter. He's so cool. Well, we've seen, well, that. We've seen that in Suva, yeah. didn't we, with that try that he scored. Well, time now for the big matchup, and we couldn't go past the kickers. It's oh, Andre Pollard, a 39 Test International, taking on the rising star in Josh Ioane Mills. Yeah, ioane has been good, hasn't he? He's been really solid. And when you think about the start of the season, there's three first fives, um, you know, obviously with Bryn Gatland and also... Who am I looking for from... Uh, gee, I've forgotten his name. Thanks. Yeah, that's it. And, uh, and so he's really... He's really, he's really taken it. He's really taken it into his own. So he's really building for the future. But he's up against this guy here. In the last couple of years, he's really starting to find his form after a big, big uh, injury. I think he did his knee a couple of years ago. But when he takes the ball flat to the line and sets up his attack, he's an absolute threat. And then he starts setting other guys up. So a real big match up here uh, tomorrow night. The Highlanders wouldn't have been expecting for him to play because he was actually back in South Africa and they're flying him over just for the game. They know they need to win it. Yeah, well, they need a bit of help too with their, their niggles that they've got in their mm. team. So I think what better player they bring over than, than him. He's going to direct them around. It's a fast track. Uh, so those big ball go Bulls guys are going to start running around a bit. Highest uh, point scorer in Super Rugby at the moment as well. Yeah, he's, he kicks the ball from anywhere. Mm. So the Landers will have to be disciplined, well-disciplined inside their own half, outside their own half. He can kick it from all over the show and... He's got the, probably the best show and go in the game, you know. Ten. So after you, he's actually he's actually got Come me on. in a no, he's, no, no, he's actually got me in a test match. He showed and go Moody and then Gooseyed me and scored on the. You just sticks, didn't so. want to tackle him, bro. Come on, be oh no, nah, Moody should have. <laughs> <laughs> blame the front rower. Yeah. Blame the front rower. Well, we are going down to the deep south now, where it's getting a wee bit chilly in Dunedin, and we've got Richard Buckman joining the show. He's injured at the moment, but it's great to have you with us, Richard. What's it like? at the moment. It's your final home game of the season this weekend and a farewell tour for many of your players. Yeah, it's obviously um, disappointing that I'm not playing in, uh, in a pretty pretty big game for us. Um, yeah, a lot of boys are leaving this year, so it's, uh, I guess it's the end of a, a bit of an era for, for um, the Landers, but um, hopefully we'll get a good crowd and um, yeah, Lukey's 100. Bender's um, got a little presentation for him, um, so it should be an awesome, awesome wee night. Bucky, Izzy here, bro. Um, good to see you. Um, just a wee question for your injury. Just tell everyone what you've been up to. Um, you doing any studies? Definitely not. I know that for sure. Um, <laughs> doing any studies? Fortnite? What have you been up to for the last two months, bro? Uh, I've been watching a lot of NBA, uh, the playoffs. So I think I think I've probably uh, watched every playoff game at the, the last few months. Uh, yeah, a bit of Fortnite. Um, trying to get a few, to, a few business ventures going in that, but. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, on this uh, couch parked up for a fair bit, to be uh, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like it. But um, <laughs> just uh, just a quick question, uh, you know, a guy with a good lid like myself, I just want to talk about your lid. What, what's what's the next that we can do with that hell of a mess you've got going on there, bud? <laughs> yeah, well, I prefer the natural look, so this is all uh, <laughs> just uh, all natural. I don't uh, need um, little implants or to go overseas to do a, a quick little do. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but um, hopefully it uh, it sticks around for a while. Richard, I, I just want to know, and uh, why why do they call you the Barracuda? Yeah, I'm not, to be honest, it's your old uh, colleague on the kickoff, Joey Wheeler, that made up uh, yeah, just a silly wee nickname in um, Africa. We went um, shark diving. The boat was called Barracuda, and I somehow just got chucked a... Chuck the nickname on it. So, mate, uh, you know, speaking of barracudas, do you actually like fish or is that...? <laughs> yeah, I, I love fish. I love eating fish. I probably wouldn't eat the barracudas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Too many worms, is it? Yeah, I don't think they're very good to be able to eat. So, yeah, I don't know. It's not a very uh, complimentary uh, nickname to have. Bucky, if you're anything like Izzy, you're bad at keeping secrets. So is this whole Bender <laughs> injury fake and uh, naming a different team and then on the weekend he's going to run out the play? Uh, I actually haven't been at training, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> like me, like me, like me. He will be. He um, he's been um, training the house down, so I'd say he'll be pretty close to running out in Invercargill next week. It's um, it's probably a bit colder, so um, hope hopefully he gets out there next week and um, can play a couple more um, games in the Landers jersey. Yeah, Bucky. Speaking about mate, it's getting a bit cold at the moment. I mean, what do the boys get up to to, to boost morale? Is it? Netflix and chill, is it hot chockies around the fire? I mean, what do the boys get yeah. up to? 
Uh, we spend a lot of time at cafes that are down at um, St. Clair and that. So, um, yeah, they've got like a little fortnight group. So there's a lot of boys on that. Uh, I'm in uh, Joey Wheeler's house, actually. So I'm paying his mortgage at the moment. So um, he's just skyrocketing um, the electricity bill with um, heat bumps and um, all that. So <laughs> this counts, yeah. Really. Yeah, I know. But it's um, he's probably it's fully paid off, so I'm just paying um as a, a little bit of a pocket pocket change for him. What our chief's mana friend was really alluding to is that the Highlanders' <laughs> form has been a bit cold lately. That's what. That's from the hurricane hot dog over here, you mate. You were hoping they're going to lose, <laughs> <easy. laughs> okay, nah. Man, I win this week and then lose next week, but all good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Watch. Leave him alone. Hey, thank you so much Cheers, for joining Bucky. us on the show, Richard. We really appreciate it and hope to see you back out on that field. Awesome. Thanks, Sue. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers, OK, well, there's some key matchups, but there's also some key players to watch this weekend. One of them returning for the first time in 2019. It's Liam Squire. What does he bring to this team? What's his form going to be like, first of all? Lungs are going to be tired. Lungs. It's all right training for weeks and weeks and weeks, but once you get out on that field and the physical contact comes and you've got to actually play a game of rugby, it's going to be different. So, um, Especially in that position as well. Like, I mean, at the, out the back you can hide a little bit mm. or you do a couple of bursts, but when you're right amongst it, I mean, your lungs are blowing and then the physicality from it. So, you know, he's obviously going to be refreshed, like you say, but, yeah, everything else is probably going to hurt for a bit. He was actually ready to come back a month ago and I think personal issues stopped it, but he's come yeah. back into club rugby. He's played 40 minutes there. Does that help him? Well, he's a keen pig hunter as well and those boys run up mm. and down hills chasing pigs, chasing the dogs. So I reckon he'll be quite fit. I've... Yeah, like you said, it's physical in that position. So well, I mean, be... yeah, you see what Sam Kane's done. You know, yeah. He, yeah. he sort of had three games back, uh, both guys with big engines, so you know it can be done. So it'll yeah. be, be good to watch. Well, before his return, it's the number six jersey for the All Blacks being open slather. What happens now if he's fit? Wow, it's his to lose it's if still he's still open, fit. though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no I one's know. really said, I'm, I'm having that. At the beginning of the year, there were some people that put their hand up, and then middle of the year, it was well, Frizzell, put my hand up. Frizzell was... And then they were all faded, and yeah. so this guy, he could come back and play the next couple of games outstandingly, and his turn. Mm. Young Buck, Luke Jacobson, Chiefs, yeah. Chiefs yeah. man, great yeah. player. You know, does he slide in? There he is. Yeah. Does he slide in? That's the Give big question. Plug, we move yeah. on now to the Bulls because they've got some big players, no one bigger than their big lock, RG Snyman. Mills, you know a lot about well, this guy. This guy is huge. I you mean, and we're, we're going to see it uh, soon with a comparison, but the thing is, he's good at this. All South Africans, when you're in the locking department, that's your go to. You're good at, you're good at uh, you know, jumping and, and getting clean ball. There's his speed as well as fantastic, but the way is athleticism. That's what I've been really impressed about, is what, getting around the park, getting over the ball, you know, stealing um, balls like that. You know, it's, it's a very hard thing to do. When well, you look at this... Look at that, that's energy. Mate, yeah. gee, you could look probably pick up one Look at the size of him, though. Look at the size of him. Just looking at him there, we've actually got a real-life image of him. So we've got... <laughs> and our team just there. I'm done. <laughs> Get him, show him, show him, show him, show him, yeah, there it is, <laughs> there it is, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you tell him, mate, yeah. you tell him, yeah. you okay. tell him, 2.08 metres, the thing with that, you must show, it must be, you've got to have a lot of appreciation for someone that big to yeah. get down and jackal that ball, like, yeah. that's a long move, way, how do you move it, <laughs> and quickly too, yoga, is it, they do it so yeah. fast, you know, yeah, well, and he's off next year to Honda, end of the season, he's been at Honda for a couple of years, and I'm pretty sure he drives a cord, so, yeah, that's what I know about him. Really. <laughs> Good luck. You've really done your research Stashing for this show, haven't no, you? No, he's, he's at Danny Lee's team, and I've seen him over in, um, in Japan League. He's, he goes pretty well over there. Well, you'll definitely know about this next guy. Why Saki Naholo? And the chant will certainly be ringing probably his last game in Dunedin this weekend. And they love him down there, don't they? Oh, mate, he's been a big part of their resurgence. He's, you know, he's got his own chant, and he, he'll be pretty happy with how he played here. Got a bit of form, got a bit of ball in this game with the Stormers. Well, yeah. Is it enough time for the end of the year? Obviously, you we're looking bigger picture. I don't, I don't know. Oh. Like, I just want to know, is he... Oh, well, he's going to be fizzy. Yeah. Because, like, when you're, when you're there, and there's no doubt, there's mm. other guys have been talked about, you know. Sidney yeah. Reese has um, hit some nice form, so mm. when you sit there and you've been injured for so long and you can't do anything about it, you know, when you come back, you want to sort of... You know, make sure that you're hitting, hitting your straps. And it's, it is, it's really his last chance to, to stake a claim. You know, if they don't make the quarterfinals, well, then, you know, he's only really got this game in the, in the following week to say, well, please, you know, still take me. He played very well uh, the last game that he played against the Stormers. Only the All Blacks always say they picked the incumbent. Yeah. So what do you cool. reckon? 
Oh, well, unless they the last World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate, you One missed from that. Two, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we both got that course <laughs> each. So, nah, oh, yeah, World Cup, yeah, that's different. Yeah. You've got to pick a, you're, the best You're team. right, they do. They mm. do. They absolutely, you've got to give guys like that an yeah. opportunity because they are the incumbents. They've mm. been in the environment for a yeah. long time. And so, when young guys like this come along, you know, you've all, all of a sudden, you know, start. You've got a little push on them before they start taking your position. Angus, are you going to throw any chief swingers in there for All Blacks contention? No, all of them, yeah. <laughs> Shooter, uh, Solomon Ale Malo. Wow, what a player, what a talent, you know. But, oh, Get out of yeah. Christchurch boys. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, now it's time for the unknown. And, well, the Bulls, they have a number of injuries. Roscoe Speckman, Dwayne Vermeulen, Paul Schumann. There's so many of them. So how do they perform without some of these top guys in their mills? Yeah, and you, some of those names, you know, they're right around the loose, loose forward area, and that's where they actually dominate. How do they um, perform? Well, Pollard coming back a bit, uh, it's a pretty big thing. You know, his experience yeah. and his wisdom and his direction and the form that he's playing, he's going to uh, have to step up a bit, but... It's whether they're going to get the ball. I mean, you're under the roof, and so you know they're going to get clean pill like that. But will they be able to stick with the uh, with the Highlanders? Because if the Highlanders open things up, then perhaps they might not stick with them. Well, well said. Well, time now for a new segment on our show. Some people, well, referees, we love to hate them. You know how red cards, yellow cards work in a match. We've got a new segment called the red card. You can red card anything that you don't like about the game of rugby. And Angus Tarvel. You've got the honours of going first. Yep, yep. Take the uh, virginity, if you will, shall I say. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, my, my one... Uh, so, obviously, when we go on tour, you know, the boys know we have a roomie, uh, except, for the, except for the skipper. Um, and my red card tonight is terrible room etiquette. Um, so, that's your mate watching TV real, real late, really loud. Oh, yeah. Some, some, of the, some of the brothers like to jam their reggae tunes like late doors or even early doors. Yeah. And, sure, why not? Um, yeah, well, he's, he gets a ta-ta. <laughs> <laughs> smelly roomies. <laughs> All right, you know, smelly like, roomies. Yeah. Oh. Smelly roomies. Smelly I mean, roomies. Sean Wainu, he's got the dreads. Uh, <laughs> Orfa Tunga Fassi used to have dreads. Terrible. Um, but one of my sort of key, key uh, hates is um, the boys get up middle of the night, uh, go, go toilet, uh, take a leak. and. Oh, uh, well, just the noise and that, you know, just sit down, you know. I know it's just sit down, mate. Just flush as well, or not? No flush, bro. No, no flush. flush. Close the door. Sit down the pee. Hey, bro. It's, <laughs> it's you know, it's it's morale. It's Turn etiquette. the light on. You know, bro. If you think you're like it's eight, you know, night night for the game, eight hours crucial. You're a prop. And, you and you're lying there, <laughs> bro. <laughs> light sleeper. I got a kid, you know, so light sleeper. So and then you hear the bro get up. For a little tip for young kids out there, if you ever have a roomie, right there. Sit down. Which one of your roomies go for the longest? <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot of them, but hey, they move forward and they're better roomies for it. Okay, well, oh, I agree. Do, do, have you got the yellow? Have you got I've the got red? What red do you think? You've got the red card. I've got my red card. You're pulling Ball your room card. etiquette. I agree. Yeah. I, I totally agree, but not for the, the toilet toilet reason. Mm. Wow, well, you got to have a good you got to have a good roomie. The yeah. toilet. So you're yellow carding the toilet. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm actually, where's the white card? It's Can a, I just sit in the fence? That's a gold nugget. Cards? See, I don't hey. know about the toilet one, but everything else, I'm red card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm red card in it as well. <laughs> so, oh, oh, okay. CJ was my Ruby. <laughs> all the way through the All Blacks career. Watch and, this um, TV all night. Oh. We had some, yeah, good times. Final good decision. Time. Completely agree yeah, with I you. Agree. Yeah, yeah agree. have yeah, to, have to. Yeah. yeah. You guys are up next next week. Don't worry about that. Well, moving on now because there's lots of other rugby. It's the Hurricanes taking on the Lions. Johannesburg, 1 a.m. on Sunday morning. Special night for TJ Perinara and Bowden Barrett. They're playing their 100th game together as a 9-10 pairing. A lot of changes in this side, though. No via for feeder, of course. He's been suspended. And the ever-reliable Adi Saver, well, he's been benched this week. What's that all about? <laughs> he's had a big season, isn't he? So you need to rest those legs for playoff time. Yeah. I think he's been outstanding, so why not? Perfect time to do it. They guarantee playoffs. He's just invo he's involved in everything as well, physically, you know, the turnovers, the carries, the tackles. There's probably a good chance for him to have a break and, and let, the boys, let the boys play. He won't want to have a break, knowing him, yeah. but you saw him after the Hagawara's game, we were doing the pre-game and post-game, and he was knackered. Yeah. So this, like CJ said, this will be perfect for him. Look, he's played a lot of metres. He's, he's run a lot of metres in the game, defenders beaten. Oh, I'd mm. like to know how many dummies he's thrown in the season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you, of big ones, can you dummy the, to the sky? Ones, yeah. <laughs> Does he fool me with the dummies? Oh, no, no way. way. <laughs> but, um, but he, yeah, like I said, he, he needs a rest. MVP of mm. the whole competition at the moment, do you think? Where does oh, he sit? I think he's, mm. it's, I mean, it's hard. There's, there's lots of guys that are actually performing, but it's hard not to go past them. And particularly when he's playing 
seven and eight. And those metres that you've seen, yeah. man, he's carving off some big metres off the back of the scrum and with, with ease as well. So I agree with these guys. Rest them up, um, get, them, you know, get them right for that Blues game because that, that's going to be big and you know the travel factor as well. So And he's had a big year. MVP? Right up there. Right. Well, he can come off the bench anyway. He probably will, and he'll be coming up in the loose forwards against the man with one of the best names in Super Rugby. It's Quaka Smith. And this guy, well, he may be small, but he's got a huge heart and a huge work rate. Yeah, he's he's very good. He's quick. He's good over the ball. Um, he's yeah, he's probably the heart of their, their forward pack at the moment. He's played sevens too, so he's got a big engine. He can run all day. He's quick, like I said before. Though. He's, he'll be a big part of this game. Yeah, huge, and I think that sevens is really um, that sevens um, game is really stands out in him mm. because he can get around the field, but he's also you know willing to mix things up a bit in the in the loose stuff and get and get really physical. Not a big man, eh, Chris? I think we we did yeah. a post match show and he stood beside us and he wasn't that big at all. But no. man, I mean, he was he was pretty solid. Mm. So um, you know he doesn't mind getting amongst the the, the heavy stuff. Similar to that yeah. Hendrick Brousseau or you know the other number six that played for the Cats and Cheetahs. Heinrich. Heinrich. Yeah, Heinrich. Yeah, Good man, thank you. Um, <laughs> he was the same. Like, he was short, yeah. but he was just yeah, boom. Solid. And when he got over that ball, there's no way you're going to move him. You yeah. don't get a schnoz like that without putting your head in dark places, eh? So Mine's broken, so I must have done it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah, he is a bit bent. Oh, yeah. Well, from twice. the man <laughs> with the best name to one of the best players in world rugby, you've scrummed against him, Malcolm Marks. Yeah, uh, we had a bit of a rough night against them. Um, I mean... They're just they're out of the woodwork. He's, he's a massive player. He's, he's big as well, but he's got the pace, he's got the talent, he's got the skills, and, you know, he's carrying hard. He's everywhere as well. You know, he's got a massive engine. So you've got guys like that running around, you know, puts a lot of emphasis on, on players to step up. And he really does tick every box, as you just said. He probably will be huge for the spring box later on in the year when they play the All Blacks' first game, the World he'll, Cup. He'll be huge, and I've got a... There was a bit of a nightmare to relive a moment when they went around the front and that and he scored a try. They did in the final in 2017. He ran straight at me and what gave me... What were you thinking? What were you thinking? I was hoping you'd step. <laughs> 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 he gave me the salve and bumped me into, into the stands. But he's going well. He's, 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 he's one of those guys, is, and there's always a couple in every team that change moments, do something real special, and it really changes the moment. Whether he's coming off the bench or, on, or starting, you know, one big thing, and all of a sudden the game's just gone, the momentum swung uh, you know, towards your team. Well, CJ, you've been pretty quiet tonight, so we've decided to give you the expert opinion. Of course, it's about your Hurricanes, so what have you got for us? Yep, my expert opinion is going to be that the Hurricanes are now just slowly starting to gain momentum um, and they will win the competition because everyone else is starting to fall down, especially the New Zealand teams. Even the Chiefs? Yeah, well, that, they win every now and then, but not very often. <laughs> Come year, off so a good, good dub? Yeah, one's not enough. <laughs> no, fair enough. One of the form teams good in argument. the competition. <laughs> Okay. Can them. we disagree? Or... Yeah. Nah, well, they'll be playing well. Try. Yeah. Be playing well. Okay, well, they haven't beaten the Crusaders that's this season. They've won both games against the Hurricanes. This weekend, though, they'll be taking on the Rebels 7pm Saturday night in Christchurch. The problem is at the moment with the Crusaders, we know they're the back-to-back -back champions, but the fact of the matter is they've only won two of their last five games. If this was any other franchise, would we be hitting the panic button? Mills, not oh. Izzy. Absolutely we would be if it was any other franchise, but it's not. It's the Crusaders, yeah? And I know, you know, they, they haven't they probably sort of hit a little bit of a lull at the moment, but you're just kind of holding your breath thinking, oh, you know, when's it going to start ramping up again? So make the most of this week, people, because uh, I feel the Crusaders will come back. Hit the button. Hit the button, Izzy. <laughs> just hit the button Mate, for when everyone. The when you're back-to-back -back champions, teams are coming for you. <laughs> teams are coming for you. Like the Chiefs, they came for us, played extremely well, so... OK, well, we need to go to guess the lid now because you guys have been talking for too long. They often say what stays on tour, what goes on tour stays on tour, but it's not always the case. The hair and the pictures, it follows you everywhere. Mm. This oh. one is dedicated to life on tour. Those two, twins. Yeah. There's no difference between them. There's another three off the line as well. The two of fussies. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I like, oh, I like that. Those yeah, it goes go. yeah. yeah, there we go. A few mo's. What have you seen? His, what about the mullet? The mullet. Yeah, you yeah. should have. You should have done that. Too. He's got a you ponytail. Have done that. Oh, a little thing. You know, world, just I can do anything at the, the moment, Millsy. Okay, here it is. Wow. Who is this? Can we zoom in? This? <laughs> no, that's your look. Come on, you should know who this is. I know is. that is. This is an can easy one. Can I go? One. Can I go? As a crusader. You can say it. Yeah, Bridge. you can say George, it. George Bridge. George. No, no, that's, no, that's, that's a bit tan, isn't it? He's wearing it. It's um. Okay, we're going to reveal if no one's got it. Avili. No. 
Nah, Hollander. Is it Hollander? Hollander. Twiddly, twiddly. No, it's not. No, oh. it's a bit of lead. I'm surprised someone's wearing a mouth guard these days. It's oh, oh, oh. OK, well, it is Izzy's show tonight, so we have a very special uh, guest coming in with a very ooh. special gift. Happy Izzy's wife, Daisy. Oh, thanks, Happy Daisy. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Oh, Happy thank you. birthday, dear Izzy. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show, <laughs> Daisy. We wanted to get a story off you, but these guys have talked oh for gosh, far too long have. tonight. Yeah, no surprises so we have here. to wrap it up here. Thanks for coming on the show. Happy birthday, Izzy. Enjoy your day. Thank Happy you. birthday to my partner at home, Tommy, as well. And we'll catch you next Thursday, same time, same place. Humble. Welcome to Kick Off After Dark. And we've got a new segment for you. This one, it's named after Izzy's old lid. It's, co lid. it's called The Shocker. OK, what happens is we've got a shock box here. These guys are all going to get shocked if they're the slowest while they're answering a quiz. We've got 20 questions. We know how competitive, well, at least these he's two are. He's not, he's not you can't cheat well, with this I game. Cheat? Whoever answers the answers. question first yep, Seen them. gets the point, and oh. at the end of the 20 points, we'll oh, see please. who gets the most. Ready to go? Yeah. Go. OK, button. ready? What is the name of the log of wood? Oh, oh the shield! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The button doesn't matter. The button doesn't matter. Okay, when's Izzy's birthday? 6 and 6, 88. Yeah, Angus. 6 and 6. How eight. many seasons of Game of Thrones has there been? 8. eight. eight. CJ. No, it's going, it's going. Oh, it's going there! I'm scared, bro. If you, if there were three apples and you take away two, how many apples do you have? One. No. If you have two. three apples, you take two. away two. One. Yeah, how many, Zero. How many three. do you have? Three. three. How many do you have? Three. Two. Come Zero. on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no one gets that one. I'm not even getting that one. What was the score between the Chiefs and Crusaders? Kiss. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. 44. Come on, guys. Blue, How blue many primary colours are there? There's oh, no Bang. Bang. You can't mix anything to make a primary colour. <laughs> <laughs> what, province is, what province is to tickle in? Right, 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 right. What province is to tickle in? Baby, ah! What's not even what? holding on to it? Oh, yeah. what, what is, is What's the speed limit oh. outside schools? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, who holds the record for the most test points for the All Blacks? Boom! Dan Dan Carter. Carter. Got it! Yeah. CJ, CJ. Push it again! How many points is a droppy worth? Three! Three! Oh, got it! Three! Two! Yes. Two! Yes. What game did he play? What game did he play? <laughs> how, many One. how many animals of each sex did Moses take on the arm? Five! One! One of each sex! <laughs> <laughs> One of each sex! <laughs> 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 What was the Mitre Tech Cup final in 2012? Boom! Uh, oh, no. Canterbury uh, uh, Elephant. Yeah. White Cat Angus, Kiss. Angus. Kiss. <laughs> What's the Mouldy word for goodbye? Kakadu! 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 See ya! <laughs> Name a fruit that starts with O. Orange! Orange, oh, orange, hey. orange, orange. There was a tie. There was a three. Tie, tie, tie between these two. Spell. Well, there's a few big uh, words in the English dictionary. Onomatopoeia is one of them. Spell it. O N O A E M O P T A E. I didn't finish it. Spell it. I T T. Let's get still it. Still gets it. Still gets it. What's thirteen takeaway seven? Six, five, three. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Six, 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 thirteen takeaway seven. If you're driving past a big oh! <laughs> <laughs> carrot, it. it stays on. It. it stays on. If you were driving it. past it. a big carrot, where would you be? Oh. 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 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.